Decade of Ministry. As we worshipped, I saw two lines of men on horses. The two lines were arranged such that they formed a passageway, as each of the two lines formed a wall. The line to the right was made up of white horses. I think the horsemen were dressed in white too, while the one on the left had brown horses and horsemen dressed in brown. There were about 10 men and 10 horses on each line, and they were spaced some distance apart from each other. Each man held a long sword in his hands. Each pair, consisting of white and brown, of these men represented a year in the present decade, especially from 2021 to 2030. I had heard this decade called the Decade of Ministry. Then I saw people begin to go through the passageway. When they got to the first pair, that is the first white man and the first brown man, the men sliced them into halves at their belly region. They did this by swinging their swords towards the person at the same time. I saw that within the people that were being sliced were big worms that needed to be gotten rid of. Once these worms were exposed by the action of these swords, they would suddenly begin to disappear and their host would become whole again. Also, these people became lighter in weight. Aside from exposing the worms, one thing I sensed that the sword did was to upload instructions into the people. There were instructions related to ministry. As the people moved on to the next pair of men, the same thing would occur, slicing through the bellies and exposing the innards, if there were still remnant worms that were not exposed by the previous pair of horsemen, they would be exposed now. And if there were any that escaped this pair, they would be exposed by the next, and so on, down to the tenth pair. Also, they would keep getting lighter and lighter and receiving downloads of instructions. This was not the case for every one of them though. I saw that in the distance between the first men and the second, some people picked up all their worms back. So when they got to the second pair of men and horses, they had to start all over again. For some, the relapse happened between the second and third, others third and fourth, and so on. One notable thing was that just as one can never reverse time, for instance 2024 back to 2022, these people who went back to their vomit were not allowed to go back and start the journey again. They had to continue the journey like that, with all their worms intact. As a result, at the end of the day, there were two kinds of people. The first set of people are those who allowed their worms to be removed at every stage without going back to ingest the worms. They kept becoming lighter and lighter until they became very permeable to light, such that they even began to appear transparent. They looked like they were spirits. I had also seen that in each stage, there was brighter light in comparison with the preceding stage, shining down from heaven and all around, signifying the glory of God. These people who became very permeable to this light were also able to absorb the rays of light and then reflect them. According to the laws of physics, this may appear ironic. An object should either absorb light or reflect it, not both. I repeat, there were humans, but they were so much dissolved in this glory that they were spirit beings, especially at the end of the decade. They were not just like beautiful mirrors, they were like stars. The other people had the habit of going back to get their worms. They remained heavy, thick, and dark. At the end of the decade, while their counterparts were radiating God's glory, I saw that the rays of light would be bouncing off them. Again, this defies the laws of physics. Dark objects should absorb light. They were just as normal people. They kept going through what they experienced at the first stage with the first horseman as nothing was changing within them. They were just stagnant. Now, I saw further diversification of callings and ministries happen with the first set of people, even before they got to the end of the decade, before they got to the tenth pair 
of horsemen. Underground Warriors I saw that at the tail end of the decade, some of the glorious people were pushed into the ground. There, they had wars with mighty forces of darkness. In fact, from what I saw, it was kind of obvious that they had the toughest warfare to engage. The demonic princes they embattled looked mightier than the ones above the ground. These warriors were so skilled with the sword and were able to use different kinds of shapes of swords, and they had such an amazing speed. It was really interesting warfare, but one that would require an enormous amount of humility and willingness to remain undercover and unknown. Many intercessors were going to be classed here. B. Ground Warriors These ones manifested later than the underground warriors. I saw them change into huge white horses. However, some of them were instead given white horses. Yet, some of them became the white horses that other glorious ones rode. They were also engaged in warfare. The war intensified as they approached the very end of the decade. I don't know how, but the slicing and uploading and downloading of instructions I had described earlier were still ongoing in the midst of the warfare. C. Air Warriors These ones showed up at the very end of the decade. At least, that was how it appeared. I saw that some of the white horses from the ground warriors became white Pegasi. Some of the glorious ones who hadn't become white horses turned into white Pegasi. Some others among the glorious ones became huge white eagles. Some were carried by the white eagles instead. I saw that after a while, some of the Pegasuses were also transformed into white eagles. Finally, I saw some of the Pegasi keep returning to the ground to pick some of the glorious ones and take them into the air. In all of this, there was a tough war in the air. There was just a lot of activity. One thing was sure, the war would terribly intensify as we approached the end of the decade. 27th December 2020, Brother S.E., Copyright Gamwatch. Watch.